Okay, class. So in this um, video, I'm going to talk a little bit about setting up a hypothesis statement. And I'm taking this out of your textbook. So in the first scenario, let's talk about um, a situation where we have a statement. The statement is the president's approval rating will change from the previous month. And they're telling us that the pre president's approval rating is um, 0.48, right? Um, and we're going to use this parameter. We're going to call it pi for this. It's the parameter you can use for um, a population. So president's approval rating is 48%. That was in the, the hypothesis is it's going to change from the previous month. So if it was 48% last month, right? Our rationale is that the status quo is last month. Because the approval rating for the president, we go from month to month, correct? So the status quo is last month's. Oh. Last month's rating, which is equal to the 0.48, right? So the null hypothesis is... Um, the is is going to be assigned the rating from last month because that's the status quo, and um, whoever is researching this hopes to prove um, that this you know is the case for this month, or that it's different, right? So the status quo is last month's approval rating, and then the alternative is it is somehow different. that the approval rating is different from last month. And the difference, um, it doesn't matter if it's up or down, right? That the approval rating has changed, right? President's approval rating will change from the previous month. We don't know if it's negative or positive, but any change, right, is the alternative. I hope the way that I'm explaining this is helpful. Uh, I always say it. If you have questions, please email me. I have office hours, so just let me know. The other, the next one is a situation where we have a battery, a, a laptop battery. So the average battery life of a 14-inch laptop is 30 hours. So we, they're telling, we've established that the average battery life is is, is 30 hours, and the company has developed a new, right? So a new type of battery that claims to have a battery life of greater than 30 hours. So what do we know for sure? We know that right now that the average battery life of a 14 inch laptop is equal to a less than the 30 hours. And the alternative is because this new new equals alternative that mu is greater than 30 hours. So our rationale for this is the status quo, again, getting back to the status quo, status quo, status quo was given to us. And that status quo was that the average was stated right here. Average battery life. Is 30 hours right and the alternative is um, and so this 30 hours is what we know to be true the alternative is that um, the new battery the new battery is greater I mean new battery life is greater than the 30 hours. So the next scenario we have is around a glass manufacturer. So this glass manufacturer needs to produce glass within a certain tolerance. And the mean for the glass has to be 44 millimeters. Anything else is unacceptable and will be thrown off, right? So this means, uh-oh, sliding up, didn't mean to do that. So our mu is equal to 40 millimeters. The alternative is that mu is not equal to 40 millimeters. 
And the rationale around, around this is um, our no or H not. The satisfactory state is our status quo. And that's the 40, equal to the 40 millimeters, right? Anything else um, is unacceptable and it's not behaving as it should. So the alternative is it's not behaving. Mini is not equal to 40 millimeters. I hope you all are following the logic. Like I said, this is also in your textbook in chapter nine. And then the final scenario I want to talk about is around Roger Goodell has claimed that um, the majority of football fans favor expanding the NFL schedule from 16 to 18 regular games per season, right? So this, they're talking about proportion, right? So what they're saying is that... In terms of the proportion of fans, the majority of fans, that means greater than 50% of the fans, um, and this is the claim, want to expand the season. And the alternative is less than 50% of the fans. So this, this is the claim that the commissioner... Is making and then this is probably the NFL players union just saying no they don't so this is a scenario when um, the um, is used to establish a point of view so this is the um, the hypothesis is used so it, the NFL commissioner David Goodell is using this to establish his point of view which is that the player season should be expanded right and through you know research, we can show that either we are going to reject or not reject his claim that 50% of the um, fans want an extended season. So I hope this setting these up and walking through these scenarios was helpful for you. Um, I'm going to follow up with an additional video to talk about... Um, um, solving for hypothesis testing when the population mean is known.